In this video, I'm going to insert the following values into a B tree with a max degree of four. What I'm also going to do is I'm simultaneously going to perform the insertions on a B tree with a max degree of three so you can learn the difference and practice both for the final. So first I'm going to insert one and ten. In both trees we're going to see that the same thing happens. So if I insert one and ten here, so far we're going to have what appears to be the identical tree. The difference is when we have a max degree of four, what's going to end up happening is we can have four pointers pointing to child nodes. Whereas with a degree of three, we can only have one. Therefore, when I insert two, for the degree of four, which is the problem that you'll be working on in class, it's just going to go in the middle. For the degree of three, what's going to happen is it will go here and it will split up. So it'll be two, one, and ten. So now let's insert the next number, which is nine. In the degree of four case, what's going to happen is nine is going to end up here. It'll take two up and split. So it's going to say two, one, and then in the cell down here, it'll be 9 and 10. Here, it's going to take 9 to the right, and this cell is going to also say 9 and 10. So what we're going to see is at different stages, the trees will appear to be identical. We see that both of these trees are the same so far. Next, we're going to insert 3. In the degree of four tree, we're going to see that three is going to go to the right. And this signal is now going to say three, nine, and 10. In the degree of three, what's going to happen is that it's going to come down, but it's going to split. As a result, nine is going to come up and the new tree is going to say two, nine, three in the middle, 10 to the right, and 1 to the left. And that's exactly what we predicted. The next element to insert is 8. In the degree of 4 tree, what's going to happen is we're going to see 3, 8, 9, and 10. It's going to split up here. So we're going to have 2, 8, 3, 9, comma, 10, and one over here. When I insert eight into the max degree of three tree, what's gonna happen is that eight will come down in the middle like so. So three and eight will become its own cell. And we see that this movement has created a slight difference in what the trees are supposed to be. But underneath, there's actually going to be room for one more place here and one more place here. So what we're going to see is as we add more and more elements, these trees are going to become more and more distinct. So now what's going to happen is that now that we've inserted 3 and 8, we're going to insert 4 and then 7. We insert four into the degree of four tree. What we're going to see is that it's going to add the cell there. We add seven to the degree of four tree. It's going to go to the left and it's going to be in the center cell. So it'll be three, four, and seven. Now let's take a look at the degree of three tree. When we insert four, it's going to come down here, but then it's going to split into four, three, and eight. So when four comes up here, it's going to be in the middle again. So what's actually going to happen is we're going to have four, two, nine, and then two's right child is going to be three, one, it's going to be eight, and ten. So let's walk through and insert four, and you're going to see it goes into the middle, splits, and splits again. Now when we insert seven, it's going to come down just like a normal tree, 7, 
So now we see that the trees are becoming more and more distinct. Next, we're going to insert 5 and 6. Inserting 5 into the max degree of 4 tree is going to put the element here, which means 4 is going to come up and move up into the tree. So now it splits. Well, here we have enough elements. So it's going to become 2, 4, and 8. The cell of 1 over here. We're going to have 3 over here. 4 will be up. 7 will be down. 8 over here. And then we're going to have 9 and 10 over here. So this would be 5 and 7, my apologies. So let's insert 5. We see the split, and now as we predicted, there's the final tree. And now I want to insert 6 into this tree, and now what's going to happen is 5, 6, and 7 will be in this particular cell. So now let's take a look at the degree of 3. I'm going to insert 5. 5 is going to come down here, and we're going to split this element up, and so 7 is going to come up. And now we're going to see is 7, 5 is down here, 8 is going to be here, 9 will be here, and 10 will be up here. And that's all going to be on this side of 4. The last element we're going to insert is 6. That cell will end up in here with 5. So now we have our insertions and deletions. So I, you see that I have 8 and 4 as my two deletion points. And you can see here that in the degree of tree, uh, 4 tree, I have 4 and 8 in the root. I mentioned in lecture, and I will mention again here, that on an exam, at the very least, the first value will be in the root. So if you look at here and you're working on three and you see four, okay, but the first value I'm deleting is eight, and eight is not in the root, eight's at the bottom of the tree, something went wrong. So let's take a look at deletion of eight for both of these. So eight is gonna be here, and now we're going to compare if there's more than one element to the left and to the right. In this case, 7 is going to move up here to fill in that spot. So we're going to delete 8. And we leave it alone. When we come down here, what's going to happen is we're going to delete 8. And then we're going to see what's going to happen. Here we have two elements. An element come down here. Seven is going to go down, and six is going to come up. So now we have one last element to delete, and that's the value four. So now we're going to see what happens when we delete an element in the middle. We have one element over here and two elements over here. What's going to happen in the animation is you're going to see 4 go away, and then you're going to see 3 move up, and there's going to be a blank spot, and then 5 and 6. What's going to happen here is it's going to evaluate 5 and 6 and 3 and go, hey, I have two elements here. I'm going to move 5 up there, and I'm going to move 3 back down. So the final B tree in this case is going to be 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 10. And for the record, that is choice C. So now let's take a look and see what will happen when I delete 4 from the degree of 3 tree. We see here that 4 is the root. And what you're going to see in the animation is this is going to go away and 2 is going to come up. So now it will be 2 blank, 6, comma, 9. So let's step through and see what's going to happen because we have a lot of pointers that we need to bear in mind here. So if I delete 4, we see that 
3 is going to come up from the top of the root. So now what's going to happen is we're going to check over here on the left. We're going to see that we have one element on the left and nothing on the right. So it's going to try to combine 1 and 2, like so. And you're going to see an empty cell here. And now it's going to go, well, wait a minute. I have one here, two here. How can I make this work better? So now it's going to try to rotate these around. So let's see what happens next. Now it's rotated. And now we have another issue. One and two are going to be to the left. We have a pointer here at five and nothing here at six. So that degree, that borrow method I was showing you is going to come over here. So what you're going to see is six is going to be the root. Three is going to be one of the child children. Nine is going to be over here. The left child is going to be one, two. The second child is going to be five. Nine's first child is going to be pointing to seven. And nine's final child is going to be pointing to ten. And that's exactly what happened. So there is that ordering for both a degree of three and a degree of four tree.